Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, here it is another Wednesday and today is the last day of the Festival of the Mother. I hope you had a very happy Festival of the Mother this year. And I hope you celebrated with your moms or someone who is mom-like in your life, a woman who was like a mom to you, just celebrate with, with the women in your life and celebrate Goddess, celebrate her motherhood. Today is Day of Her Grace. And what is Day of Her Grace? Well, Day of Her Grace is the last day of the Festival of the Mother. And every day is Day of Her Grace. Why? Well, because Day of Her Grace is the day that we recognize and acknowledge that Goddess extends her grace to all of us humanity. She extends her forgiveness and her grace to us we fallible humans she extends our her grace to us on day of her grace and um you may say well why did goddess create fallible humans she did not create us fallible but she did create us with free will which means we had the choice to choose the path of fallibility and everyone who's out here on earth chose the path of fallibility. They chose to be fallible. They chose to be a fallen angel. So goddess extends her grace to us. And what should we do on day of her grace? Why? We should extend our grace to others. And this can be hard sometimes. I know it's really tough when people have hurt you to extend your grace to them, to forgive them. But that's what we do on Day of Her Grace. I'm not saying you have to forgive anybody. I'm not saying you have to forgive everybody. But I am saying think about forgiveness on this day and how Goddess forgives us. And then if you can, forgive certain others for certain wrongs that they've done to you. Now this is important to me because recently... I've been thinking that it's hard for me to forgive certain people who have hurt me and trying to make patch up relationships with them. It's really tough. It's really tough. It's really hard to, to uh, forgive certain people in my life that have hurt me and uh, it, it like like everyone just everyone there's so many people who have hurt me it's just not even funny I've been through the ringer and it's hard sometimes to extend your forgiveness like recently there was a, a social worker a man who who um, I felt was not fair to me and I complained about him now, I haven't received a response yet to the complaint that I made about him, but I made it clear in my, uh, in my um, letter that all I wanted to do was patch things up with him. I didn't want to harm him. I didn't want to persecute him or prosecute him. I just wanted to make peace with him so that I could move on. And... He, he doesn't even know yet. I don't think anyone's told him about it. Um, but he, he's, he was, he was, it was, he's been sort of indicating that he doesn't like me very much. Um, he, he's been kind of a cold fish toward me. So, and, and the other day, uh, he wouldn't let me go on an outing. So, and, and there was plenty of room, and he said, no, there's no room, even though there was room. I could see it right in front of me, but there was no one sitting in the van, in the front seat, or in the side seat, and he still said I couldn't go. 
So he does he doesn't like me very much and I did complain about this. And um we'll just see. We'll just see how he how he uh reacts or if, how he handles it. Um there was plenty of room, there was plenty of space and he said looks like there's no more space you can't go. Sorry. And and he just wanted to get rid of me. He just wanted to get rid of me because there was space. There was plenty of space in the van and he and he uh he blew it. So I have to forgive him and it's not easy. And um I don't think mothers are perfect. I know mothers can be imperfect. Even my own mother has hurt me. And sometimes it can be hard to forgive her. Um, I have even actually thought recently about not forgiving her for all the things that she's done to me. Because she's she just keeps adding to the list of things that she's done to hurt me. And she hurts me on a daily basis pretty much, you know on the phone um she i i've had i've had a difficult relationship with her it's been difficult but i i believe in forgiving her and i believe in forgiveness and i've tried to extend grace to her even though i know that she won't change for me or for anyone and she'll always be the same towards me um She's nice to her friends, but I get most of her guff, and it's on a daily basis. So, um, just uh, try to forgive your moms today, since it's it, since it was just Mother's Day recently. Even if you're not a goddess worshiper, you can forgive your moms uh, if you can. If you just try. Some, I know some moms are pretty much unforgivable, but if you can, try to forgive your moms. And uh, there's plenty of people that we can't forgive that are just too bad. And bear in mind what forgiveness means. It means that for any, anything that a person has done wrong to you, if you forgive them for that, they will never be punished, ever. You're not putting in someone else's hands. You're not deferring punishment to somebody else. You are literally t saying, you are forgiven. You will never be punished for what you did to me. I forgive you. So, be v and you have the power to do this. It's, it isn't in goddess's hands or in a higher power's hands completely. It is actually in your hands. You have the power to forgive or not forgive for something someone's done wrong to you. So just bear that in mind and be very careful who you choose to forgive. Because if you choose to forgive someone, they will never, ever be punished for what they did wrong to you. So if you haven't truly forgiven them in your heart and you just say they're forgiven... That's not going to do anything. So uh, be careful who you choose to forgive, who you choose not to forgive, what you choose to forgive them for, and what you choose not to forgive them for. Because sometimes, let's face it, some people need to be punished. Some people will never learn their lesson ever, and they'll never change unless they're punished. And something has to come along to punish them. It's not you and somebody else, but you don't have, you can choose also not to administer punishment to allow someone else to punish them. But that's not the same as forgiving. See, that's not the same as forgiving at all. Lots of these Christians who say they're forgiving people say, well, I'm putting it in God's hands. And that's their nice way of saying, God will punish them, not me. But it, that isn't forgiveness because you have the power to say that that person will never be punished ever for what they've done to you ever for any reason you have that power that power is not in goddess's hands or in jesus's hands that power is in your own hands 
So be very careful who you choose to forgive because some people need a le lesson. They need to learn their lesson. They do need to be punished. And you can choose to defer that, that punishment to someone else that allows someone else to punish them. Or you can punish them yourselves and incur karma. But either way, either way, you're choosing whether to forgive them or not. You're choosing whether they will be punished or not. So do be careful about who you choose for, to forgive and for what. But Goddess always extends her grace to us. She always forgives us for anything we've done to her personally. So that's something to bear in mind on Day of Her Grace. It's a, it's a weighty subject. It's something it's, the goddess is eternally forgiving. And so we have to bear that in mind on Day of Her Grace. She doesn't require human sacrifice. She doesn't require blood to be spilled. She doesn't require somebody be nailed to a cross in order to forgive us. That's ridiculous. That's silliness. And she doesn't require us to believe that someone was nailed to the cross for our sins in order for us to be forgiven. She doesn't require us to believe something ridiculous. So, no human sacrifice. Goddess doesn't require human sacrifices. She does not demand a blood sacrifice. She does not require a blood sacrifice for atonement of sins. She does not require a human sacrifice for human for, or or a divine sacrifice for atonement for sins. She doesn't require what we believe anything ridiculous about atonement for sins and blood sacrifices. So none of that is required. Blood of the lamb should stay inside the lamb, not be spilt on the ground. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it, she forgives us. So we should try to forgive others if we can. And we do what we can. We, we do our best every day to, to, um, to forgive others who have wronged us if we can. And if we can't, now I've forgiven this, this social worker. I've already forgiven him because Maybe he had a reason. I don't know what his reason is. He just dislikes me or something. But he he chose not to take me even though there was room in the van. I could see that there was that there was room in the van and he cho to chose to tell me there was no more room and that he couldn't take me. That was his choice. So, um I don't know what his deal is. He's got issues of his own. But Day of her grace, forgive your loved ones, forgive people that are close to you and that you love and care about. And Goddess always extends her grace to us. I'm Sarah Jane Alpha Wolf signing off. Have a terrific rest of the festival of the mother. It only lasts today. Today is the last day. So, um, Call up a relative or a loved one and tell them that they're forgiven and let watch their face light up. And I'll see you next time.